every answer to every question is right here before your eyes. And now you see it. Now you see it. And here's the star of our show. Now you see him, Jack McLaughlin. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, ah. Hello. Welcome to the big board game, Now You See It. The game that you can play at home for fun, whereas we'll be playing for prizes. Let me tell you about those prizes. We have a first prize of £500, a second prize of £100, a third prize of £50. All the contestants take away this marvellous prize. That's the Edinburgh Crystal, the decanter and the glasses. Now, tonight, one of the four will emerge as champion. They'll take on the champion's board on the subject of... Geography, and they have the chance then to win that star mystery prize. Let's meet the four contestants who want to play the big board game tonight. Now you see it. First of all, it's Anne. Hello, Anne. Hello. Whereabouts do you come from? Kirkcaldy. Are you married? Yes. Children? Two children. Two children. And it says here, gives talks on American Indians. That's right. Do they ever sue? Sue, Sue. Uh, no, they don't, but that's because I'm a Cheyenne. She's a Cheyenne! <laughs> I got a patchy response, so let's move on <laughs> very quickly now to our next contestant. Who's Alan? Hello, Alan. Hello. What do you do for a living, Alan? Civil servant. Well, you last half an hour without a cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me this, Alan, in fact. Which branch of the civil service do you work? The court service. Uh-huh. And in your spare time, what do you get up to? Um, amateur operatics. Ah, because Anne does a bit of the old Gilbert and Sullivan. Sure, yes, right. What was the last production you were in? Uh, Showboat. Oh, I was in the Pirates of Penzance at the start of the year. And I'm appearing again next uh, Christmas. Well, what the producer actually says, it'll be a cold day before we get him singing again. <laughs> Let's move on to our next contestant, who is Morag. Hello, Morag. Hello. Whereabouts do you come from? From Lithgow. What's your second name? Baxter. Mrs. Baxter, like a soup. <laughs> and uh, what do you get up to? <laughs> a bit slower there. We'll wind him up. What do you do in your spare time? Well, I enjoy horse riding and swimming. Mm -hmm. What's the name of your horse? The uh, Nutcracker. Used to help me. <laughs> <laughs> well, end that conversation there <laughs> and move on to our next contestant, whose name is John. Hello, John. Hello. Born in Cheltenham, is that correct? Uh, no, living there. Living in oh, Cheltenham. Born in Edinburgh. Born in <laughs> Edinburgh and a teacher. What's your subject, right. John? Mathematics. I would have an honours degree in mathematics, but for my heart and kidney trouble. Oh. I was heart lazy and I couldn't be bothered. John, what do you get up to in your spare time? Oh, music, sports, okay. uh, crossword puzzles. Right, and you still do some teaching, although you're a retired headmaster? Uh, not yet. I may come to it. You may come to it. Have brain, wool travel. That's John, that's Morag, that's Alan, and that's Anne, the four contestants tonight to play our big board game, Now You See It. And after those few moments of excruciating wit, let us now get started with the game itself and bring on our first big board. Now you see it, and now you don't. Let me briefly explain the rules of the game. I ask the question, you search the board, find the answer, press the buzzer, give me the line. I'll say if you're correct. If you're correct, I want the position and the answer. When you hear this sound, one of you will be eliminated. You may hear this sound. It's time up on a particular question. Now, we always invite you to play the game at home. Please join us as we now start by lighting up that very first big board. Question. Name one of the seven deadly sins. Yes, Anne. Line three. Correct. Position one, sloth. Is correct for four points. Which Cockney singer partners Dave in the duo? Yes, Morag. Line one. Correct. Position six, Chaz. For seven points. That's how we score the game, by the way, if you're playing at home. We add up the line one to the position six to give you seven points and the correct answer of Chaz. Question. In chemistry, 
Hot is the opposite? Yes, Morag. Line four. Correct. Position six, alkali. Ten points, the opposite of acid. Who is responsible for navigating ships in and out of a harbor? John. Line two. Correct. Position seven, pilot. Nine points to you. What is the Christian name of the authoress who wrote the famous five and secret seven books? Yes, Morag. Line, <coughs> line four. Correct. Position 13, Enid. 17 very good points to you. Now you see it. On with the game. Who was a noble Trojan chieftain? Yes, Anne. Line three. Correct. Position five, Hector. Eight points to you in Homer's Iliad. The end of the question. What is a Russian country house called? Yes, John. Line one. Correct. Position four, Dacha. Is correct for five points. What name is given to the boat that pulls large sh Yes. Morag? Right. Line three. Correct. Position 11, tug. For 14 points that pulls large ships in and out of harbors. Question. Name a tribe of African warriors. Yes, John. Line two. Correct. Position five, impi. For seven points. What superior kind of glass is manufactured in Waterford? Yes, Morag. Right. Line four. Correct. Position one, crystal. For five points. Question. Name the 16th century English poet who wrote The Fairy Queen. Yes, Anne. Line one. Correct. Position nine, Spencer. Yes, indeed. Edmund for ten points. Question. According to the Bible, in which town was Samson killed? Yes, John. Line three. Correct. Position 13, Gaza. Sixteen points. Question. What was a small type of airship used for reconnaissance called? Yes, Morag. Line two. Correct. Position three, Blimp. Is correct for five points. What do you do to attract game keeping under cover? What do you do to attract game keeping under cover, John? Line four. Correct. Position four, stalk. Is correct for eight points. Name a type of popular tree. Yes, Anne? Sorry, it's wrong one. Can I, yes, John? Line one. Correct. Position eight, aspen. Is correct for nine points. What name can be applied to a dissolute seducer of women? Yes, Alan. Line two. Correct. Position nine, Lothario. Is correct for 11 points. You're in the scoring frame. Into what is a coin inserted to operate a parking meter? Yes, John. Line three. Correct. Position one, slot. Four points. Question. Name the ancient British tribe. Yes, Anne. Line four. Correct. Position 11, IC9. For 15 points, who revolted against Roman rule under their Queen Bordesia. Question. Which TV series about the life of a young woman in the New York... Yes. Alan? Sorry, it's Morag? <laughs> Line 1. Correct. Position 1, Rhoda. For two points. You all rushed to the buzzers there, but Morag's light definitely lit first. Correct. Question. Which West Indian island was a haunt of buccaneers... Yes, Alan, this Line, time. Line 3. Correct. Position eight, Tortuga. Is correct in the 17th century. Question, how do we describe the walk of a lame person? Yes, Morag. Line two. Correct. Position four, limp. Six points. Question, Neville Shute wrote a famous novel called A Town Called... Yes, John. Uh, line four. Correct. Position nine, Alice. For 13 points. What is the central part of a wheel called... Morag. Line two. Correct. Position one, hub. For three points. Question. And there goes the clacks. And let me take a look at the board. What a marvelous scoring game. Through to the semi-final stages are John and Morag and Anne. What a marvellous scoring game. I had to have a good look at the scores there to see who's got to leave us, but indeed it is Alan. Alan, you scored well, but not well enough against some fine scorers. Have you enjoyed playing the game? Very much, thank you. Yes. All the best with the singing and with your career in the civil service. You don't take away nothing at all. You take away the set of crystal, the decanter and the glasses. A round of applause, please, for Alan, one of the contestants in Now You See It. But for our three remaining contestants, we now play the semi-final game, which we play letter by letter. Now, if you want to play the game at home, this time we'll be using cryptic clues. I'll read out the cryptic clue and reveal the answer on the big board, letter by letter. Now, you'll find that as soon as we've established one full answer of the board, at least one letter, perhaps more from that answer, goes towards the construction of the next answer, and so on until the end of a line. In terms of the team, it's the first two to four points going through to the final. I do wish you well. 
John, Morag and Anne. Cryptic clue coming up. Gives you the chop. Letter. Yes, Anne. Sorry. It's all right, but sit out the next letter. Letter. John. Butcher. Correct, one point. Sometimes gets soused. John. Herring. Correct. Cryptic clue coming up. Could be a green one. Letter. John. Grocer. Correct. New line, new clue. That's the boy. Letter. 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 Anne. George. Is correct. Well done. Place for a convention. Letter. 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 John. Geneva. You're through to the final. <laughs> John, you can sit back, relax, take it easy. You'll have a chance to meet one of the ladies in part two. Will it be Morag? Will it be Anne? Anne in one point, Morag still to score. Now's their chance. Up in the air. Letter. Letter. Morag? Vapor. Incorrect. Please sit up the next letter, which goes entirely to Anne. Letter. You're back in. Letter. Anne. Evaporate. Is correct. New line, new clue. In the swim. Letter. 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 Morag. Lido. Correct. New line, new clue. Not a new line, but a new clue. No money in this bank. Letter. Yes, Anne. Dogger. Is correct. You need one more. Eyes on the board. Could be a good night. Letter. Letter. Yes, Morag. Errant. Is correct. Good scoring game. Alan three. Morag on two. New cryptic clue. Nothing new about this. Yes, Morag. Antique. Is correct. Now here is a game. Anne versus Morag. They both need one more point. We bring on a new line. We start with a new cryptic clue. And the first to score goes through to the final. Bit of a twister. Letter. 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 Anne. Acrostic. Is incorrect. The next letter goes entirely to Morag. Letter. You are both playing the game on this letter. Anne. Acrobat. Is correct. You're through to the final. Oh. What a marvelous scoring game. A good first round game, a good semi final game. Morag, hardline. She scored very well in that first game. Have you enjoyed playing the game? Yes, very much. Thank you. All the best. You have a little, one little boy, is it? A little girl? A little girl. It's a little girl. What's her name? Karen. Well, you'll be taking her home the £50 and the glasses and the decanter. And thanks for playing the big board game. Now you see it. But I can say that uh, our two finalists, that's Anne and John, will meet in part two. One of them will become the champion. They'll take on the champion's board to win our star mystery prize, hopefully. For all that, join us in part two of the big board game, the game that you at home can play. Now you see it. Ice blue stick that glides on cool and 
fresh. The big stick from Old Spice. Solid protection that lasts. Behind every special Kellogg's Rice Krispies pack, there are amazing adventures to create on these exciting backgrounds. Inside each pack, there's a free Snap, Crackle and Pop transfer sheet. Rub down the images and just imagine. It'll keep them quiet for hours. Get all gone! I speak to you as a voters, as a local band, and a man who cares passionately about our community. As long as you can get to a phone, you're only moments away from the RAC. Well, sir, I'm afraid your big end is gone. Oh, no. You live locally? Yeah, well, miles away. We'll get you home, sir. When you join the RAC, service beyond the call can even include getting you home in one smooth journey. Friends, I know that tomorrow we can move Remember the amazing strength of Loctite Super Glue 3. Well, now there's a new Super Glue that has something extra. Super Glue Extra doesn't run, and just like the original, it bonds in seconds. Just what you need for fast repairs on difficult surfaces where you need the strength you can really rely on. Non-run Super Glue Extra, proved in industry for use in the home. Welcome back to the big board game. Now you see it, we come to the final. John, who lives in Cheltenham, Anne, who lives in Fife. I do wish you well. One slight change to the rules when you hear this sound. It means you're playing for double points. Straight on to the final game for £500 and the chance to become the champion. So light up that final big board. Question. According to the popular expression, whom does all the world love? Yes, John. Um, line one. Correct. Position two, a lover. Three points. Question. A double pointer. Name a famous Daily Express cartoonist. Yes, Anne? Line three. Correct. Position seven, Giles. For ten, doubling to twenty points, you're in the lead. Name a Japanese coin of small denomination. Yes, John. Line two. Correct. Position twelve, Sen. For fourteen points. What is the name for a specially holy place? Yes, Anne. Line four. Correct. Position seven, Sanctum. For eleven points. Question. Double pointer. What region attempted to break away from Nigeria? Yes, Anne. Line three. Correct. Position one, Biafra. Four doubles to eight to break away from Nigeria in 1967. The full question. Question. Another double pointer. Where was the longest and most costly battle of the First World War? Yes, Anne. Line one. Correct. Position four, Verdun. Five doubles up to ten points. Question. What is the staff of life? Yes, Anne. Line two. Correct. Position three, red. Five points. Question. If something is breakable or delicate... Yes, John. Line three. Correct. Position four, fragile. Seven points. Question. What kind of frost turns the ground... Yes, John. Line four. Correct. Position one, hoar. Five points. Turns the ground white. The full question. Question. It's a double pointer. Which military hut was made of corrugated iron? Yes, John. Uh, line two. Correct. Uh, position nine, Nissen. Eleven points, doubling to 22 points. Question. In Shakespeare's play, which king was murdered by... Yes, Anne. Line one. Correct. Position seven, Duncan. For eight points, murdered by Macbeth. Question. What do you have to be to be good at gymnastics? Yes, John. Line three. Correct. Position six, Agile. Nine points. Question. A double pointer. What is another name for a craftsman? Yes, Anne. Line four. Correct. Position three, artisan. For seven points. Question. To which family of birds does the lap wing belong? Yes, Anne. Line one. Correct. Position one, plover. For two points. Question. What weapon did cavalry soldiers 
Yes, Anne. Line two. Correct. Position one, Sabre. For three points. What weapon did cavalry soldiers traditionally carry? What a great game. Question. Who wrote Tristram Shandy? Yes, Line Anne. Line three. Yes. Position 11, Stern. Lawrence Stern gets you 14 points. Question. In cricket, what has six in Britain and eight in Australia? Yes, Anne. Line one. Yes. Position three, over. For four points. Let's have a look at those scores. Anne's on 99, John is on 60. Question. What is the name of the large ostrich-like bird which recently became extinct in New Zealand? Yes, John. Line two. Incorrect. Line four, position 13, Moa for 17 points. Name the boy actor who played the title role in the film musical Oliver. Line three, position nine, Lester. Mark Lester for 12 points. Question. A double pointer. Which handsome youth was loved by Aphrodite? Yes, Anne. Line two. Correct. Position six, Adonis. For eight points. Can you pull back, John? Question. What is the Christian name of the film star daughter of American ventrilo... Yes, Anne. Line one. Correct. Position ten, Candice. That's right. Of the American ventriloquist Edgar Bergen. Question. Which substance can be used for flavoring and is produced from an acid and an alcohol? Line three, position ten, Esther for 13 points. Question. Which implement is worked by the hand to propel a boat? Yes, Anne. Line four. Correct. Position two, or. For six points. Question. In the game Monopoly, what is thrown to start play? Yes, Anne. Line one. Correct. Position 13, dice. For 14 points. Question. Which term means nothing in tennis? Back to John. Uh, line one. Correct. Position two, love. For three points. Question. Ah, whoa, what a marvelous game. And tonight, our champion with 146 points is Anne. Well, John, what can you say about that? She was terrific. She was terrific. John has said it all. It's been very nice seeing you, John. I hope you've enjoyed playing our big board game. I of course, you don't you. leave empty-handed. You take away a £100 consolation prize. And all the best with the hobbies, with the sport, and with the music. Thanks Thank for you. joining us on the big board game. Now you see it. Right, well now we come to the part of the game when the champion takes on the champion's board. So for Anne, let's bring on that board. Now you see it? No, you don't. Peering very intently at that board. All right, Anne? Yes. Nice big smile. The questions are on geography. What do you like on geography? Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. I think she's going to be very good in geography. You have a chance to win that star mystery prize, a clue to which is on the board. We have got 12 questions on geography. You must answer seven correct within the two minutes allocated. Now, if you don't know an answer, Anne, please tell me quickly to pass on. But the allocation of time on any specific question is entirely at your discretion. But once we start the clock, that is it. You're playing for a star mystery prize, a clue to which is on that champion's board. Let's get on with the game and light up our champion's board. Start the clock. Which American city is famous as a center for easy divorce? Line one, position two, Reno. Correct. Which African country used to be called the Gold Coast? Pass. Line two, Ghana. Mount Etna is situated on which island? Line three, position four, Sicily. Correct. Where in Wales are the hills known as the Beacons? Line four, position one, Brecon. Correct. What is the nearest main American airport to Russia? Pass. Line one, Nome. Question. In which country are the Ainu people found? Line four, position Correct. 12, Japan. Correct. Question. Name a famous holiday island in Greece. Line one, 
Position 10, Corfu. Question. Which French city lies at the head of the Loire estuary? Line 3, position Incorrect. 8. Incorrect. Line 2, Nantes. Question. On which of the Great Lakes does Toronto lie? Line 4, position 5, Ontario. Correct. You're up to 6. Question. Which mountain in Japan is much used as a place for lovers to commit suicide? Line 1, position 13, Fuji. Congratulations! Our champions board. Well done. You've been a splendid champion. Anne, of course, I here have the 500 pounds, but uh, we see the smiling face of Anne. Anne, will you look at our board and then come across and join me? Because I want you, please, to isolate the clue to the prize. Well, we see lighting up there is the word Corfu. And, uh, well, in this instance, in fact, let's look out this way. The clue is the prize. It's a trip to Corfu with our congratulations for being a smashing champ and beating that champion's board. Congratulations to you. Thank All right? You Wasn't she a great champion? Yeah. <laughs> and not only a trip to Corfu, but also 500 pounds. The inevitable question I always ask, how are you going to spend the money? Something for the kiddies, I think. Isn't that nice? What a lovely lady. <laughs> Thanks very much, Anita. Thank Congratulations. You. Well, I hope you've always enjoyed, uh, you've all enjoyed playing our big board game. Now, you see, we certainly have enjoyed having you watching the game. And I hope you'll join us at the same time next week when we all play the big board game that all the family can play. Now you see it. It's goodbye till then. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>